We made it here to Bled. Yes. One of the places we wanted to see. It was such a cool day. Been looking on the internet for this place <gasps> for many, many times, and now we are right here. We had to cycle so much yeah. today, but we made it. We made it. And it's beautiful. And we are sharing it with you. Yeah. After Bled, we made our way towards Bohain. Bohain is like the lake brother of Bled and a lot underrated by tourists. We enjoyed much more in here than in Bled. But before we go on talking about the lake Bohain, let us rewind a second to tell you about our night in Bled. Good morning! Just for a change. We just woke up. I'm super excited and look at Tiago. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> what happened yesterday, Chief? Tell, mm. tell the word. I'm still to wake up. Okay, so I will tell the word. <laughs> we were trying to find a place to put our tent. We stopped to talk with this girl with the little baby. And she was like, yeah, you can put by the... Hey! Actually, why don't you put your tent on my on my garden? Um, it was getting dark, so we even didn't hesitate at all. We said, yeah, of course. So we came here. Um, she's a climber, how to say, she? Climber, alpinist. A rock climber. A rock climber with her husband. They're super nice. We were uh, inside their house in our Lake, like drinking wine, wine and talking and... Uh, it was such a cool night. So now we just woke up, it's 8 a.m. and we need to go to this national park, which I'm sure will be amazing. That's the little village we are in. It's close to Bled. It was really nice having you. Yeah, it was really nice. Like, it was so lucky we met uh, like last minute. We were so happy. And this kind of thing like that we say, like, we go around the world and it's good that we meet people and we make friends, you yeah. know, so it's just like, we have friends all over, that's <laughs> yeah, awesome. It's, yeah. it's the same for us. As I said, I don't know why I did not think before. Like, <laughs> you know, I said, yeah, you should ask somebody. And then I went across the street and yeah, I saw a garden. <laughs> I went to, to smell it, but yeah. my hands all break. <laughs> <laughs> Then we went to visit a place you cannot miss when visiting Bled, the Vintiga Gorge. Where are we? Wow, it's called Soteska Vintigar and seriously, amazing. Look what they've done. They create a passageway along the river so you can appreciate the river. Soteska Vintiga is a gorge no more than a couple of kilometers from Lake Bled. You can either track to there, get a taxi or cycle like us. There is a fair entrance fee of 4 euros, more than worth for what you get. The color of the water is just unbelievable. The place is well kept and absolutely gorgeous. And during autumn, when we were there, the leaves keep on falling, it makes it even nicer. We made our way to Lake Bohain. It was already almost a month of cycling, lots of uphills, and we were getting rather tired. But the landscape of Slovenia continued amazing us. Particularly, its creativity on how to tell drivers how they are doing regarding the speed. <laughs>
you have no idea how is the feeling of arriving to such a nice place after a whole 40. day of cycling. Yes. It wasn't such a long day, but it was like full of up and downs and my legs are hurting so much. And you arrived here and it's so cozy and we went to the, down the restaurant and they had the schnitzel mm. with potatoes. That's great. It's all we needed and yeah. then this cozy room. Ah. So we are here at Hostel Pod Voglon, uh, is in the middle of the mountains. And everything, as she said, is very cozy, like all made of wood. They have fireplace, and we love it so much. We are knackered and so happy to arrive here after two days cycling and camping. Yeah, so we'll be can't move right now. <laughs> so, and we are excited for tomorrow because we are apparently in a very beautiful place, just in front of the, the lake. We didn't see it because we arrived by lake. We arrived at 7 o'clock, it was already a bit dark, yeah. so we couldn't see much. Yay! Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, now you might be asking yourself, I've just seen Lake Bled, why would I visit another lake? It's not just the lake. You can go down there about 10 kilometers, maybe less than that. Yeah. You have uh, um, Slopslipta. It will be written here <laughs> the name of the waterfall. <laughs> and, uh, and this waterfall is beautiful, absolutely amazing, because it, it, like, there's this giant rock, and the water comes from the middle of the rock, so you know, full of caves in there. And then this water comes from the middle of the rock and forms this beautiful waterfall. And the famous poet of Slovenia. He actually wrote a very famous poem uh, called uh, The Baptism of the... Christianity. Yeah, it was basically, the Something poem was else. about pagans and Christianity. <laughs> yeah, this war between pagans and Christianity. So we're throwing the name is written here. Christianity. Yeah. So the first thing we did was visiting the Savita waterfall. It is a must-see attraction when visiting Lake Bohin. There is an entrance fee of 3 euros and the way to there from the car parking is not so hard. The waterfall has an A shape as the water is split into two parts, making it quite unique. But most importantly, Franz Pusherin wrote a poem, The Baptism of the Savitsa, inspired by this astonishing place, turning it into an important site from Slovenian people. As we were tired from the previous day and we didn't wake up too early to visit the waterfall, there was a full day activity for us. We arrived back in Podbeglum Hotel just about to get dark. But we were saying about Lake Bohin being not only a lake. So what else? And there's a cable car. And a cable which is car. Closed, of course, because uh, Tiago has this thing. I have a car mouth. Everywhere cables. he goes, he loves cable cars, but everywhere he goes, there's a cable car, but it's closed, it's broken. Been three it's years like that. <laughs> when was the last time we managed to get a cable car? Tatev. You go on our oh, YouTube yeah. channel, you see how was Tatev. <laughs> when it's not closed, that's what happened. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks, Thiago, for that. <laughs> so the cable car is amazing because you have a, a, a beautiful view from the top of the mountain and you can go down a zip line and it's basically the zip line pretends uh, you're doing ski jumping you see did you no, know that know yeah that. it's fantastic so basically you go in the zip line and you go like this Woo! so basically doing a ski jump is about 250 meters i want to do it but it's closed uh, the zip line too yeah it's on the way down from the cable oh, car Thiago. i need a new companion for my travels because uh, with you sorry. i would never be able to do the cool stuff so apparently here's the place uh slovenians comes a lot on the weekends for sports you probably yeah. realize already that they love sports. In every, not <laughs> just one, like Brazil, football, India, cricket, here, everything. Everything, they love everything. 
and like so here's a perfect place for kayaking rafting uh, paragliding uh, stand up they come and do everything on this lake and it's yeah. beautiful the, <laughs> the other Things thing that really impresses here as anywhere else in in Slovenia is the water it's just so clean transparent here you can see like I wish it was a little bit warmer and then we could swim yeah Ameri we met this guy yesterday and he said he met these other Americans and they were drinking the uh, the water from the lake like with a glass you would just put and that's how clear and clean because it is. they heard that uh, some Slovenians said ah you can drink the water from here it's fine and they think they could drink the water from the lake it's from the top <laughs> I don't know I'm not gonna try Yeah. <laughs> no. So that's where we spent our last two days at Lake Bohin. This beautiful, this paradise. Yeah. People normally come to Blad and leave Bohin aside. Blad is more famous probably because of the castle and the little islands. Yeah, it's more like fairy tale. But this is absolutely amazing. Seriously. We are just lucky that about 30 minutes before we arrived here and the, the water was so calm that it, 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 it turned into a perfect mirror. Yeah. Uh, now we are heading to Kobarid, another great spot for nature lovers here in Slovenia. Yes. See you there! When she's leaving.